Hello, everyone. I am happy to be with you today to introduce uh, instructor Nathan Douglas to you. Nathan is an ultimate boat instructor for GMAU, and this is part of the Ask Your Instructor series where you get to know your instructors in, uh, personally and, and in more detail. So I want to give a little bit of a, a, a bio, if you will, for Nathan, and then he can add to that, and then we're going to get to know him. So Nathan has been with GMAU since about 2016, if I'm correct. He can correct me in a minute if, if I have any of this wrong. And, and he started out as a student in, in Ultimate Bow, and he has his uh, second black Chevron now uh, and is an instructor, obviously, for the Ultimate Bow program. But he's also a longtime Taekwondo practitioner. He has his own brick and mortar school. And uh, congratulations, Nathan, for... Uh, just ranking up to fourth degree black belt in Taekwondo. So we're so pleased to have you in, in GMAU. And, and I know that you have additional martial arts backgrounds and skill sets. But aside from being a really cool guy, an awesome individual, uh, how about correct anything that I got wrong in your bio and tell us a little bit more about your, your martial arts background. Yeah, so you got the, the bio spot on, Joel. Um, so I've been doing Taekwondo uh, for about 21 years now. Uh, I just recently got my fourth uh, Dan Kukiwon black belt, uh, which is a, it's a big deal. Um, I like that. It's uh, got my paperwork just recently sent to me, and um, it just gives me a nice sense of achievement. Uh, I'm not huge into the paperwork, but that one does mean a lot to me. It just kind of indicates how long I've been practicing for. Yeah. Uh, the uh, second black chevron I also just recently got. Um, that one also is quite special to me because I've been training really hard in Ultimate Bow. I started in 2016, 2017. Um, uh, as we were discussing earlier, I, I kind of lose track of time a little bit. So um, it's in around that time frame, though. Uh, I've been having a blast with both. Um, I do practice with some other weapons as well, but bow is my primary weapon of focus. Yeah, so when we watch your videos, your Ultimate Bow videos, we can see uh, a weapons rack hanging on the wall. So there's some size up there. There's, I think, a Tonfa, uh, Nunchaku. What, what else, uh, what other Kabuto-type weapons are, are, can you use? Yeah, so um, like I said, Bow is – actually, before we get too far into that, um, yeah. that weapons rack, um, one of my students actually made that specifically for me. Um, it's incredibly unique. Yeah. <laughs> you won't find that anywhere. Nice. Um, and I absolutely love it. Uh, I get so many compliments on it. His craftsmanship, it was all custom built to hold each weapon. So oh, wow. I, I have experience with each weapon that's in there, which would be the Kamas, mm -hmm. uh, Tonfa, mm -hmm. Nunchuck. Um, uh, what else do I have in there? Uh, sword and the bow. Okay. So most recently, um, I've been actually also working with a rope dart, uh, which is a lot of fun. Um, I'm just learning that one. That one's all about flow. Yeah. Um, I I'm really enjoying it though. It's, it's, uh, actually kind of similar. It's almost a mix between nunchucks and, uh, bow, which is, it's kind of neat. Yeah. So I, I do really enjoy that one and it's, it's fun to, to learn something new. Interesting. Well, um, so you can learn a lot from other martial arts. So there's things that you can bring to bear on your Taekwondo from the benefits or the things that you gain through uh, Ultimate Bow and, and the other weapons. So can you maybe talk about that a little bit? Like where, where have you seen connections between the different arts and weapons uh, that you do? And, and have you seen where one has benefited you or helped you uh, with another? Yeah, for sure. Like my Taekwondo training really did help with my bow training. The stances, um, the concepts, they're all very similar. They blend together really nicely. So um, when I was learning Ultimate Bow, I felt like I had like a really nice solid baseline to start with. Yeah. Um, I didn't have to learn all the stances from, from the beginning. Um, a lot of that was there and I understood the uh, importance of having a nice strong stance, um, which really gets emphasized even more so in bow because um, you and I had mentioned it uh, before in previous in uh, communication, but if, if you're not in the correct stance uh, when you're working with bow, uh, you may clip your leg, um, something like that. Uh, it's very possible to happen. So uh, they do translate really nicely. Uh, 
One of the other things that I, I really liked about the two, um, Taekwondo and Bo in particular, is uh, they balance each other out so nicely. Um, a lot of Taekwondo is the lower body, um, yeah. strength and flexibility in that. Uh, and Bo is a lot of uh, upper body, like a dynamic workout. So I find that they just, for me, they pair really well together. Yeah. Um, so you have a unique perspective um, from some of the other instructors. And I really want to make sure that we tap into that during this interview. Um, because, uh, although Adam Gerald uh, has, has some overlap with you, um, but you started out as a GMAU student and now you're a GMAU instructor. So can you talk a little bit about GMAU, like how you found it? Uh, what was your experience like as a student and um, how has that changed now that you're an instructor for GMAU? Yeah, that's a, a fun story. Uh, so the way I found GMAU is I've wanted to train in weapons for the longest time. Family life, work commitments, um, and I was already teaching uh, made it really difficult to find a brick and mortar school, which I'm in a pretty small community. So there was no place I actually had like a real weapons standalone program. Yeah. Um, so I was just scrolling through the internet one day. I was chatting with my wife, actually, while she was getting ready for work. And I came along GMAU. And I kind of scrolled through it and watched some of the videos. And I saw that it was a subscription-based program, which, and it offered real rank. Um, and like, to me, it's not that I'm chasing the rank, but I really do um, like progression. And I like, uh, I do enjoy achievement and that sort of thing. Uh, so I, I enrolled and I fell in love with it immediately. The lessons were easy to follow for me. Um, Bo is kind of a little bit of a different beast because um, one of my students had previously told me that it's like you're learning to control a third limb. And I thought that that was just such an awesome way to describe it because it's not just moving your hands and feet, you're actually manipulating a long stick. Um, and moving in a certain way that's under control. So I thought that that was a really accurate way to describe it. Um, and I, I really enjoyed how the lessons, they did a great job of, of uh, describing how to control that bow. I found that in within weeks, I already had nice command of the bow. And that was all just by video, which it really impressed me um, how easy to follow along it was. Um, and even, you know, I was a little bit skeptical when I first started because I was like, how's this really going to work? Because, you know, I'm not going to be training with someone because are they going to see if my stance is wrong or what if my hand's in the wrong position? Yeah. Um, and I had messaged Michael and I got speedy replies. And, you know, I would send him a video and he would either send me like a uh, video reply with incredible depth or he would send me back a message breaking down my technique, uh, giving me um, the victories and the opportunities, which uh, I'm a huge fan of, of that type of feedback. And he just did a, an incredible job of it, made me feel like I was an important student. Um, and that's really something that I can take with me as a teacher. I know how it feels when a student sends me a message or they send in an exam on how it makes them feel uh, when they're getting that feedback and the type of feedback that they want. Uh, they don't necessarily want to hear everything <laughs> that they need to, to work on. They like hearing about the, the victories that they're getting and the opportunities as well. So they're getting the best of both worlds. Um, I really liked it when I got video messages from Sensei Michael. And that's something that I really make sure that um, I like to do for students. Um, if they're struggling with the technique, I'll go as far as to give them a individual tutorial um, and send it to them directly. And, and that's just something that I look at it from the perspective, I was a student and I, I enjoyed that type of feedback and that um, direct um, instructors, instructor student uh, relationship. And I wanna make sure that every student feels comfortable enough to me that they can ask that question or they can ask for, hey, can you give me just like a, a three minute video tutorial on this because I'm not really understanding and kind of one of the benefits that I've had is I've taught it locally and I've also taught it by video now 
And my teaching locally has really allowed me to um, work directly with people on some of the common errors, I guess you could say. So when I'm giving some students direct um, videos on tutorials or whatever, I know what the typical mistakes are and, and uh, how to correct that. And it's actually worked out really well that um, most of the time, um, the errors translate over to each other. So it, it's really helpful that I have both those platforms that I can teach and uh, both learn from too. So it, it sounds like your experience as a student, uh, even though you were already an instructor, an, an in-person instructor of Taekwondo, it, it sounds like your GMAU experience as a student and an instructor have uh, impacted your ability to be a good instructor in person as well. Is that, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but that's yeah. what I'm hearing you say. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's right on, uh, yeah. Joel. So when I, I first had to learn how to learn from video. Mm -hmm. So that took me a little bit of time. And that's it's something that I do tell people is that it does take that's time to point. learn how to learn from a video. Yeah. Um, but it also helps me for when I'm teaching um, either live classes or pre-recorded classes. I, I really do make sure that I'm, I'm showing them visually, but audibly I'm talking about it as well so that they know okay, for example, I'm turning my back shoulder to my backside as I do this, um, because there's a bit of a mirror image sometimes when you're teaching. Yeah. So that's something that is just another level of uh, um, teaching that kind of helps uh, reinforce that uh, learning. Yeah. Well, um, Sensei Michael is definitely a master teacher, and he has a very high standard for instruction and um, I mean, you can, you can see that in, in all the GMAU instructors. So not only are they hand chosen, uh, that's a big piece of having good instructors, right? But there's, there's definitely a standard that has to be met. So uh, I'm glad you brought that point up. Uh, and again, you have a very, a very unique perspective or experience on this. Um, so sort of uh, rolling off of that, I wanted to ask you, what advice would you give to current GMAU students and probably in particular Ultimate Bow students, but maybe also generally speaking, and what, uh, what would you say to people who are, you know, maybe they, like you, they discover GMAU, they weren't, they're not quite sure about it. Um, what would you say to them in terms of um, helping them make a decision? Yeah, so for me, like everyone's got to make their own personal decision on whether or not it's a good fit for them because yeah. there's a lot to be said for like training in that physical school um, because you get that two quick, two second correction live on the spot, which there's a lot to be said for that. But um, it's totally possible to learn through distance. Um, and I've said to Michael before that, you know, um, I didn't know how to hold a bow before uh, becoming uh, a student with GMAU. And uh, I'm quite proficient with one now. The training does work. It yeah. takes uh, student commitment, uh, practice, and following through the videos. And it's not just kind of watching a video one time. Like I was saying before, it's if you can learn how to learn from a video, um, which does take some time, um, it's totally doable, though, to be proficient at, at whatever program you're learning. Mm -hmm. um, to me, Bo is one that um, there's a very different element to it because like I said, you're, you're learning how to use that third limb, which can be very awkward for some people. Um, the way that the lessons are set up though, it is easy to follow, it's achievable. And um, we have so many students that have had no experience coming into to ultimate bow and now they're highly efficient with a bow. And that's not just no uh, weapons experience, that's no martial arts experience. Um, locally, I've seen the same thing, but from the video side on GMAU, you know, we've had students with no experience that yeah. um, they're very, very efficient now. Yeah, and and so you're a really good testament to the fact that someone can come in with no background on that, and now you're an instructor. Um, I, but I also know that there are students who are also competing and, and winning in tournaments. Yeah. So that's another good testament. It is. We've had um, a few students that they've entered local tournaments. And typically, if one of our students goes into a tournament, uh, they do medal. 
um, the, the katas that um, are taught or that you learn, they're very impressive from a traditional and visual standpoint. Um, so they blend well between um, the freestyle and the traditional aspect. Uh, yeah. It's awesome to see, really. Yeah. Yeah, and the Ultimate Bow program, just uh, to build on that point, does emphasize both traditional aspects of bow jutsu uh, as, as well as combative aspects uh, or freestyle. Um, so that, that's, a, that's a good thing to point out about the Ultimate Bow program. Really balanced combat, yeah. visual, and traditional. Yeah. Well, is there anything personal that um, that you want people to know about you as uh, not instructor Nathan Douglas, but the guy Nathan Douglas? Yeah, and a lot of my students they've come to learn this uh, pretty quickly. But um, I love martial arts. I love supporting students. Um, I love my family. I'm a very much a family guy. I love all things nerdy. Uh, I'm an avid sports fan. I love um, North American football. It's it's a passion of mine. Uh, it's just, I uh, I don't know, I guess that that would probably summarize me best. Um, family, friends, uh, and all things nerdy. Correct me if I'm wrong, but, uh, you know, I just did your yellow chevron um, traditional strikes and kata class and i think if i remember correctly i think i remember you mentioning football uh yeah. and there and did you say nc state was a team that you followed so i like canadian football which there's my local team is the saskatchewan rough riders yeah. um and for american football i'm a huge uh notre dame fan oh notre dame okay yeah and i'm a huge san francisco 49ers fan i my my goal is to get out there and watch games live. I yeah. haven't got there yet, but that that will happen. Yeah. Well, Notre Dame's not too far away. So, um, well, as as we wrap things up here, um, just open in the question is: Is there anything else that you want to say or share before we before we finish? Yeah, it, for any of my local students, it's I I say this frequently, but uh, I love when they message me. Um, even if just to update me on what they've been up to lately. So I like connecting with everyone on a personal level. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's not just about developing everyone's bow skills. I, I really do enjoy talking with people on a personal level. And for anyone who's potentially interested in joining the Ultimate Bow program in particular, or any GMAU student, um, it's a really welcoming environment, uh, like-minded individuals, and it's incredibly supportive. Right from the top, like starting with Michael, um, all the way through students. Um, it's It's been a phenomenal experience and I absolutely love being part of the GMAU team. Yeah, and there are some significant um, website changes that are uh, in the works right now and that ability for the social connections uh, is only going to enhance um, moving forward. G G the thing about GMAU is that it's not stagnant. Um, there are always uh, discussions about new programs in the works but there's never any uh, you know knee-jerk reaction to get more out there everything has to be in place for quality and you know the timing has to be right and that sort of thing but I, I do know from getting a peek behind the curtain so to speak that uh, there there are big things that are coming and GMAU is is only going to grow and get better um, and and I know that 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 piece of being able to connect not only with your instructor but with with other students is is going to be easier down the road for sure yep absolutely yeah. well Nathan thank you so much for your time um, I can't wait to see the comments on this one this is uh, this has been a really good interview and uh, I've enjoyed the time uh, getting to know you better myself. Thanks, Joel. Likewise. All right. Well, uh, thanks again, and I'll be talking to you soon. So take care. Thanks. You too, Joel.